Next tonight, though, teenagers across the East Midlands have been recruited to advise the police on tackling terrorism. They're looking for ways to try and stop people being radicalised by extremists on the internet. It's all part of a programme called Prevent that's working with hundreds of youngsters in Nottingham this summer. But as our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports, it's proving controversial. No more routine for me. I was going to change my life. A film about a teenage loner who's radicalised into planning a terrorist attack. It's designed to provoke a discussion about what makes young people vulnerable. OK, so one group. The course is run by the East Midlands Police Prevent Team, who want these teenagers to report suspicions about people being radicalised. But it's controversial because extremist views aren't against the law. I was surprised on how easy it was to kind of victimise people into those kind of views. I just really shocked me. I am quite a worrying person, so if I did see something like that occurring, I would go straight to the prevent team or to school or something like that now. We've learned we can contact the police, families, friends, uh, the NHS as well, doctors. So it's quite a great session. Uh, I've quite enjoyed it personally. The best way to do it is to dehumanise them. This group come from Rutland in Lincolnshire, where a lot of prevent referrals are about far-right extremism. But in the cities, they're dealing with more concerns about Islamic extremist groups. That's why Leicester's one of the government's prevent priority areas, and the city's Muslim leaders are working closely with the police. But there are critics who argue the Prevent programme is putting their whole community under suspicion. And they worry that if young Muslims feel alienated by that, it'll make them more likely to be radicalised. The old saying, prevention is better than cure, well, it very much applies to the Prevent agenda. It's about trying to intervene at a very early stage. So well before a criminal act has been committed, it's about trying to spot those early signs and then do something to safeguard that person. But isn't the Prevent programme really about spying on Muslims? The Prevent agenda really isn't about spying on anybody. It isn't about singling out a particular faith group or particular community. As a Muslim police officer myself, as a practising Muslim as well, I'd be mortified if that was the case. You go into schools, you give this workshop, but you don't tell them at all. And now the police are taking advice on challenging extremism from this new panel of volunteers. At their first meeting in Leicestershire, they discussed creating a computer game. A lot of the people that get radicalised... The group includes three young Muslims from Normanton in Derby. We need to collectively stand up against this barbaric ideology. It can also be perceived as a, they've got a huge support from the Muslim community, which is absolutely not the case. At the moment, the government is currently targeting mosques, and it, uh, in honesty, uh, it's not the mosques that are creating radicalised views. It's actually places like prisons. And back in Nottingham, a warning about websites trying to stir up tension by peddling myths about Muslims, a lesson in challenging a cycle of hate which could help save lives. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.